Hi guys, welcome to my first Peak Week vlog. So it is, well, it's Friday. So technically in my terms, my Peak Week starts tomorrow, um, which would be Saturday, but I'm so excited, you guys. This is my first Peak Week since 2021. And for those of you who are new here, hi, hello, my name is Lexi, but Peak Week basically means it is the last week up until your show day. So my show is a week from tomorrow. Just cannot believe I'm saying that. Um, I just got my peak week plan from my coach this morning. So he outlined the game plan tentatively with everything we're gonna do from today through show day. As always, it's always subject to change, you know, depending on how I look, but I'm gonna take you guys through the journey. Um, I'll kind of explain like what my peak week entails um, and some things like I do and some things I don't. I'm also gonna share with you guys some of the stuff I'm packing because yes, I am already starting to pack. Um, I'm just kind of doing a little cleaning right now. So please don't disregard the mess behind me. I'm in the middle of like cleaning my apartment, um, but I wanted to just start this video say hello, let you guys know that it is finally here. Peak week is here. Gosh, this has like been a long time coming. I truthfully did not think I would get to this point in prep. Like I'm being very honest with you guys. So welcome to peak week vlog number one. I'll probably do like another vlog um, later on peak week um, that'll be separate, but this is peak week vlog number one this weekend. It's gonna be tough and I'll talk to, talk to you guys about it um, in a little bit. It's gonna be tough. It's okay though. It's two days, it's temporary. I can do anything for two days. So welcome to the vlog and enjoy the rest of the video. Going on a walk because my cardio is super low today. So when my cardio is low, I always like to go on more walks to just catch some sunlight and take a nice little work break. Gallon jug secured. So I normally don't buy gallon jugs, um, but I'm actually going to Orlando tomorrow for a show and I am tracking my water very precisely for peak week. So I grabbed this. Um, so moral of the story is, by the way, you guys, so I know that there's always these myths out there that you have to cut water come peak week, but that is not the approach my coach and I take. In fact, my water is staying pretty damn consistent all week with what I normally can consume um but I got this gallon just because like while I head to Orlando it's gonna be really easy just to track it um so I grabbed this um and I will show you guys kind of or I'll walk you guys through what this weekend looks like here in a sec um and I'll take you guys along for tomorrow it is Saturday which is officially the start of my peak week but I'm excited and a little, a little nervous, well, not really nervous. It's just gonna be a little bit of a tough week, but like a weekend, but hey, I can do anything for two days, right? Okay, what's up, dude? So real quick, I'm gonna talk to you guys about this weekend, what I've got going on. So, um, and kind of how peak week kind of works. So I'm definitely planning on doing another peak week video. So this will be like peak week one um, or peak week part one. So basically I'm not gonna give my like exact peak week protocol because at the end of the day, like. I have a coach and I'm not gonna just give out what he told me to do, like, you know, public, that's kind of, that would not be respectful in my opinion. Um, but I will kind of just tell you guys the gist of like our peak week strategy. So today is Friday and basically today was a higher carb day high carb for me right now. Um, I had very, very minimal cardio. I did still train. And then this weekend, what we are doing is we call it like depletion weekend. So very, very low carb, very low food, very high cardio and no training. So the point of this weekend is for me to be depleted. So by Monday, I'm probably going to look really, really small. Like my muscles are going to be really flat, not have a lot of like oomph to them. Um, and then starting on Monday, we're going to slowly very slowly start to walk carbs up um and then by friday i'm eating like double the amount of carbs that i'm eating this weekend so we're slowly tapering carbs up throughout the week walking cardio down so basically once i get through tomorrow once i get through sunday i'll be a lot better because like i said cardio is really high tomorrow cardio is really high on sunday food is at an all-time low and again i'm not going to share what that is because like i don't want to like I'm not gonna give away my protocol. Not that like, if you were to follow it, you would get the same results, but I just don't feel like it's respectful like to my coach by any means. Um, sodium is also something that we are keeping consistent for the most part. It's a little bit lower tomorrow and um, Sunday. And part of that I think is just because my carbs are lower. So as my carbs get higher throughout the week, my sodium will slowly increase because like carbs need sodium to essentially do their job. Um, and same with water. Like we don't pull water at any point in the week. Um, it may vary just like a little bit um, as my carbs go up, but 
that is it. Um, and then another thing is like, honestly, and I'll talk more about this in my next peak week video, um, cause it'll be later in the week, but, um, things like artificial sweeteners, like I will usually cut those out like Wednesday, but to be very honest, I am somebody who doesn't consume a lot of artificials in general, but like they don't really negatively impact me. And so at the end of the day, like everybody has a different tolerance to things. So if you have like if you know i think some people think peak week is this magical week where you need to change all these things and like that's the opposite of what you should do really you should be keeping things pretty darn consistent right if your body has responded well to something up until this point it's not just going to miraculously like stop responding or respond badly to something if that makes sense so artificials like i said i don't consume them like that much anyways i mean i have my stevia i have like skinny syrup in my coffee and then i do have crystal light not a ton though like i don't have any of that in excess um and i'll still have that in moderation probably up until wednesday and i'll cut it out and then because like i said i don't feel like it causes me an issue but just to be on the safe side I'll cut it back later in the week, uh, but that's the game plan. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning bright and early for my first round of cardio. So I will give you a hint that my cardio um, does require a long session in the morning and a long session in the evening. So I will catch you guys in the morning. I'm going to take a bubble bath. I'm going to rest. I'm going to recoup. I'm going to relax before tomorrow, and I will catch you guys in the morning. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys something really quick. Now, this is not sustainable at all. I'm just showing you guys what I look like. Post, this is all my food and all my water in for the day. My vascularity in my stomach has been so weird and crazy. Like I have never seen this in my life before. This is after a full day of eating and water and it was technically high carb day today. I just find this so fascinating. But again, this is not sustainable. This is my stage lean body. This is just so like fascinating to me. I don't know. The body is a cool thing. Good morning, friends. Okay, hopefully you don't hear my dishwasher in the background because it's kind of loud, but it is Saturday. It is the first day of peak week, yay. Um, so today is just like I talked about last night, lots of cardio, lots of cardio, very, very low carbs. I woke up this morning, my weight was up a little bit, but it kind of makes sense because yesterday was a higher carb day. Plus my sodium was a lot higher yesterday. So I guess that kind of makes sense as to why like weight was up. So I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm beyond that point, um, but I'm gonna walk to the gym because it's like a few blocks away. I'm gonna do my cardio there. I'm bringing a towel so I can cover up the time because it always helps me if I can like cover up the time and not stare at the clock the entire time, especially when I'm on the cardio machine for an hour. So I'm gonna go do that and then I gotta go, come home. Um, I'm gonna pack my food and then I'm gonna drive over to Orlando because my client has a show. So that is on the plan or that is the agenda um, for today. I planned out all my food last night, which makes it so easy, um, you know, going into today. The, the perks of having like a very low food day is I don't have to pack a lot to go to Orlando. So we are good there, um, but I'm gonna get my little butt to the gym. I'm gonna walk there, stop procrastinating, and I will update you guys when I survive round one. Okay, so I forgot to update you guys. I did survive my cardio. Um, I walked home and I just wanna show you guys getting ready to head to Orlando. So I am packing this meal. So this is four hard boiled egg whites, two Brazil nuts, and then I air fried my zucchini. So as I mentioned before, today is a very, very low carb day. So I'm not gonna be seeing many carbs in my um, in my day today, uh, besides like veggies and trace carbs and whatnot. And then I am actually packing some roasted seaweed for just like a little car snack. Um, these are so good. And honestly, the macros are not bad. So for the Whole pack it's like three fat three carb three protein but they're so delicious i don't know what it is even in when i'm not in prep i love these um but fun fact seaweed is actually really rich in iodine which is really important for the production of thyroid hormones so little fun fact for you there but i'm packing this like i said the i think i said it earlier being um very low carb today makes it super easy to just like not have to pack that much to go to orlando so i'm gonna pack this up um get my drinks ready and hit the road Okay guys, I'm currently at like a really weird angle because I have you guys propped um, on my car, but I'm currently on my way home from Orlando. And fun fact for those of you who don't live in or who are not familiar with like this, the Florida area, um, I live in Tampa. So the drive from Tampa to Orlando, it's literally the easiest drive because it's just straight highway, but there is always traffic. So right now, what am I doing? I am sitting in traffic. Um, 
I've got my water, my jug. I've got my, I haven't broken into my snack yet, which were the seaweed papers. I'm saving those. Um, but I already had my meal. I'm a little hungry, not gonna lie, not a little, not a little, I'm very hungry. Um, but it's honestly also like when you're driving, I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to snack when you're driving and like right now I can't do that. So I'm just trying to, um, put my brain elsewhere but I am stuck in traffic hopefully I make it home relatively soon and then when I do I'm gonna get home and probably eat my next meal and do my round two of cardio okay made it home um wow that was that was an experience let me just break it down for you guys so I'm not going anywhere else for the rest of the day because that was that was a long drive um but well I have to do my cardio but I'll walk to the gym and stuff and do that um so I stopped at the gas station about halfway way home um, because I needed to get gas. And then while I was there, I was gonna use the restroom because like, obviously when I'm hydrated, I gotta go all the time. So I walk into the gas station and I go to the bathroom first and it's like a nice gas station, but of course every gas station, you know, have your weirdo, you have your weirdos. Um, and I walk in and there's a line and it's a really small, small bathroom. There's only two stalls. And there's this like lady in the middle going through her backpack and she's just like, a little off we'll put it that way and then I noticed she had like gauze on her arm and it looked like she had just been like admitted out of the hospital and she turns around and she looks at me and then she holds up her hand and she legit has like this metal rod through two of her fingers and two of her fingers they're like swollen and then she's like mumbling to me I, I, and I sensed that she was like definitely on something and so I like panicked and there was somebody else in front of me and they weren't doing anything and I'm just like oh my god so I just walked out because I was like really scared I just don't like to mess with people if they're like you know potentially on something and so I got my gas and then I drove to a different place to go to the bathroom but that was an experience but anyways I am home now um I'm gonna try not to let myself sit down for too long because then I'm gonna probably procrastinate my second hour of cardio so I'm gonna like just force myself to do that right now I always say don't think just do because the more you sit and think about something usually you procrastinate you talk yourself out of it so before I give myself enough time to talk or to think about it I'm just gonna knock it out of the park and then I can relax edit this vlog um and work on a couple of client things and pack so we're gonna knock it out round two here we come all right made it barely <laughs> barely but it is done um I'm glad I got that out of the way with now I am going to take a hot bubble bath because that is gonna feel so good so just to relax my muscles oh and i'm gonna put on some um cpd salve from cured nutrition i've shown it on here before but i'll show it when i grab it because it has literally been saving my life it feels just like icy hot it has cbd in it oh, and i've been putting it on my back and like my shoulders and my neck and it feels so delightful all right here's the salve i was talking about it is just the roll-on balm. You can use my code for 15% off. Highly recommend. And honestly, I've had this for months and months, you guys, and it hasn't run out. So it is a little pricier, but it, it honestly lasts for forever. And it's just like Icy Hot, except it has CBD in it. And I have to show you guys. Okay, so when I went to Orlando today, um, the show, it was part of it was an expo. And I got these two First Form Level 1 Protein Bars. And I am the weirdo that legit looks forward to this type of stuff post show so i'm gonna take these two things to austin um definitely try these out post show but i would honestly and i i mean this wholeheartedly i'd rather have something like this than like complete junk because it just it sits so much better in my stomach but i'm gonna pack these bad boys into my suitcase so i can have them next saturday before i forget i have to show you guys these adorable little rice cakes well i don't know if adorable is the right word to explain a rice cake but these are from sprouts obviously um but they're like really tiny um and they're definitely tinier than the average rice cake they're just they're just plain um but they've only got five grams of carbs per rice cake so unfortunately my beloved white cheddar rice cakes i have not had them in a little bit just because I've been wanting to use my carbs on like other food um but i did grab these because i thought this was just like a really quick and easy carb source and honestly for one for five carbs that's pretty darn awesome so i guess these are only a sprouts exclusive so i apologize if you don't have a sprouts near you but i did want to show 
you guys these and if you do have a sprouts check them out okay so i am beginning my packing process and i don't have much packed yet but i thought i would just show you guys a couple of things because i've started just a little pile um in my apartment just of stuff that i need to pack so i have my slides and i highly recommend having a pair of slides or just like really comfortable slide on and off shoes. These are from the Shoe Fairy. I believe these are actually still available on their site, um, but I'm gonna be bringing these to wear backstage and also just around the hotel once I get my spray tan, because obviously you really don't wanna wear like socks and tennis shoes. Um, I also have this like oversized pro physique, um, long sleeve, like kind of shirt, uh, dress, not quite a dress. It's just a big oversized shirt. So I'm bringing it because I always gotta rep my team. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear it but um next thing is i have this um it's from the shoe fairy and i believe it's still available but as you can see it's just this like silk um button up like dress so it's actually kind of it's like a nightgown so i could probably wear it to bed um if i wanted or i don't know i just feel like i'll definitely make use of it at some point um i've got my jewelry all packed so i've got earrings a big bracelet and what else oh a ring and then i think i'm actually going to throw in another little bracelet that i have in here so i have just some backup um i have this backstage blanket it from angel competition bikinis just so i can get cozy backstage and it gets really really cold um and then i have a black t-shirt just laying here that i'm gonna bring because i do like to wear like dark loose clothing after i get my spray tan um i don't want to wear anything super tight just because i don't want it to you know rub up against the tan too much so usually i'll wear like uh, a big baggy black shirt after i get my first coat of tan and then i'll wear a pair of sweatpants so these are just a couple of things i've laid out so far not much um but obviously i'm just starting to lay out some stuff so I don't forget, come later this week. And there's some things like my suit, obviously my heels that I'm not packing yet because I'm obviously gonna need those. So that's the trouble with packing. I can't pack everything yet because like obviously some of the stuff I'm going to need to use between now and Thursday. So this is what I got so far. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up this peak week one vlog here. Um, because I'll be honest, I just don't have much left to give to today, I'll be completely honest. Um, but I was thinking on my drive home from Orlando, I was like, you know, today and tomorrow, and honestly Monday a little bit too, um, are tough days. But like, I can do anything for two days. Seriously, like this is temporary. And I feel like the two, three week out mark from a show is really tough because it's almost like you're so close yet you're so far and that's like at least where my coach tends to kind of push the hardest and um but now like you know yes i'm being pushed really hard this weekend you know doing a lot of cardio eating very little but it's temporary and like i can do anything for two days so um i wanted to give you guys a little snapshot into depletion weekend again it's so temporary um my food it's not like it's at like a crazy unhealthy level like it's very low but it's two days right it's very strategic we have to deplete in order to walk carbs up later this week and to fill out my frame right i can't just walk carbs out with their walk carbs up without being depleted so depletion weekend is halfway done i got through saturday so now i'm going to make my last meal i'm going to lay down i'm going to edit this video watch a little netflix put my feet up, probably stretch a little too because I do need to do that. Um, and I will see you guys later this week because I will, at least I plan on when I'm when, right as of right now, doing a second peak week of vlog. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. And I hope that wherever you guys are at in the world, you have a great rest of your day.